What's up guys? Learning with Rich here in this video. Let's create ceiling in our project. Okay, so last video we learned how to place our windows and then our doors. Right, so this time around we are going to create our ceiling. Since we are going to create a ceiling, so what we are going to do first is we're going to change our view from floor plan view to ceiling plan. Alright, so I'm going to open 0, 1, and 3 level. So just double click that. And then after that, this is where we are going to place our ceiling. So if you're going to create ceiling, so you can pick the boundary of the room or you can also uh, sketch the boundary of your ceiling. Okay, so let's try to do both. So from the build panel, I'm going to select your ceiling. Click that one. And then after that, you have two ways of creating ceiling here. So you have automatic ceiling in which you create a ceiling at a specified distance above the level in which it resides. That's why it is important you check the properties and check the height of your ceiling because you are just going to pick the interior side of your uh, room. As you can see, as I hover my pointer, it highlights the boundary so the ceiling that you will be creating here we're gonna have this uh, level height of eight feet from your uh, level one okay so that's the first way of creating ceiling so let's do this and before that you can also specify here the type of ceiling that you will be creating from the type selector so for this one so let's say I'll be using uh, two feet by four feet acoustic tile system uh, type of ceiling so I'm gonna select that one again okay just make sure you set up your uh, height offset from level and then the level here and then room bounding all right okay so you just need to click the boundary okay so the the interior part so you click that there you go and then you click another one here Okay, and then you click another one here, for example, and then another one here. So that's it. Okay, so you just need to click the boundary inside. Okay, so this is the type selector. This is where you change it. So let's say, for example, uh, I do not want this type of ceiling. Okay, so I'm just going to click here and do. Okay, so let me do that again. So architecture, ceiling automatic ceiling so instead i'm gonna use here two feet by two feet acoustic tile system click all right and then let's pick here one two three four all right there you go so i now have my ceiling so if i select modify here so i can uh click one of the ceiling here or maybe I'm going to go to the 3D view. And there you go. So we have created our ceiling somewhere here. So I'm going to turn on the section box. So the section box here is already turned on, but it's not showing in our current view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the bulb here, reveal hidden elements because it is hidden. So you click that one so that you'll be able to see your section box. Okay, so you click that and then unhide that one click and then close it and there's now our section box so i can click that section box i can change the view cube okay to make it top view and then i can use those arrows to crop my view All right there you go so i'm gonna zoom in can crop here and then I'm gonna hold the shift hold the middle button of the mouse at the same time and then move it move your mouse and then you'll be able to see here the ceiling that I just created there you go right okay so maybe I'm gonna select here the back side and then crop the view all the way here there you go so I can see the top view there you go right so those are my ceiling so the next thing that I'm going to do, let's try to create another ceiling. But this time, let's use another uh, type of ceiling. Okay, so I'm going to select again my 0, 1 entry level. 
and I would like to see also the 3D view. So I'm gonna select here tile views or you can also type WT for shortcut. Okay, click that one so that you'll be able to see here the 3D view as well. Okay, so we are going to create our another ceiling here, this one here, this one here, and maybe we can also create one here, this area. Okay, so let's do that of course in our ceiling plan view. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to select the ceiling again. I'll be using automatic ceiling, but for the type, I'll be using here the gypsum uh, board here on metal stud. So this is the type that I'll be using. Okay, and then again, I'll just use the same height here. But you will notice as I pick for the placement of my uh, ceiling here, if I click that, there is no pattern, but there's actually the ceiling created, right? As you can see in the 3D view, okay? It just so happened that our uh, gypsum wood board doesn't have any pattern, okay? So I'm going to click this one as well, and there you go. So there's now our ceiling, right? Okay, and now on the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a cloud ceiling to this area here. But we are going to use the other uh, way of creating our ceiling, which is sketch ceiling. Okay, so that is the one that we are going to use. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to select sketch ceiling. So let, let's click that one. And then you will notice that we are now on the modify create ceiling boundary. So you need to manually create the boundary of the ceiling. Okay, so you see there's a uh, boundary line and then these are the tools to shape up your ceiling. Okay, so you have the line, rectangle, the polygon, circle, arc, ellipse, spline, and then you also have peak lines in which you create a line based on an existing wall, line, or edge selected in the drawing area, which is what we are going to use in this exercise. Okay, but before that, how about I'll just select here again, uh, two by two. Okay, acoustic tile system of ceiling. So I select that one. There you go. And then I'm going to use these peak lines here. Okay. Alright, so before I pick, I'm going to specify here the offset. So let's say I'm going to type here 3 feet. So I'm going to type 3, enter. And then I'm going to hover my pointer to this interior side of the wall, this one. As you can see, the preview of the boundary that you will be creating is showing. You see that dash line? And if you're going to move your pointer a little above, so you can see that you'll be able to create the boundary above, okay? So it based on how you position your pointer, right? So I'm going to move my pointer just below that line and then pick. And then that's the offset of 3 feet, right? Click. And then I'm going to do that here as well to the left and here as well. Click. There you go. And then we need to clean up this corner. So let me just select here, modify to terminate the tool. Okay, so when you create the sketch, so make sure there is no intersection like this. Okay, so you need to clean that up. So we can use stream extend to corner, click that, and then select the two lines that you would like to remain in your view. So you click, and then it's now deleted. So you click here, click here, there you go. Okay, so for this area, I like an arc here. So I'm going to select start and radius. Okay, I'm going to put that between grids 1 and 2. So the, the location is not critical for this exercise. So maybe I'm going to click here. 1, 2, and there you go. So there's the arc. Again, we need to clean up the corners by using trim extent to corner. So just click that. All right, so let's click here, one, two, select the two sides that you want to remain. Click, there you go. All right, and then after that, just select here, finish edit mode. And there you go. And then just select modify to deselect the object. So you now have that uh, 
cloud ceiling right okay there you go okay that uh, you can also change here the position of your pattern okay so instead of just vertical and horizontal line you can actually make that angle so what you do is you can just click one of the uh, vertical pattern here you click and then you can use uh, rotate click that one and then you click here and then move your pointer like that and then you can type let's say 45 for 45 degrees enter there you go and then select here modify okay so that's how you modify the pattern of your ceiling okay so that's how you create your ceiling for this um, exercise again hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any comments questions or suggestion you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching guys have a nice day